it's filming. Not that we have to uh -oh. start yet. But I was gonna say something. Hi, Darla. Not good, but I'll just <laughs> let it go. Then I have to do a beep. Happy beep. New Year, people. Happy New Year. We're back. We're back, and it's only been a less than two weeks, right, since yeah. we recorded the last oh, time. Darla. Yeah. Um, January first, twenty twenty. It's a new decade. It's the new Roaring Twenties. Yes. And by yes. roaring, I mean motorcycle roaring. Oh, there you go. Mm hmm Because Cheryl's bike's being delivered. Yeah, I don't know when. Probably not till after our vacation. But so, hello. So we are two pearls in a pod. I'm Cheryl. Becky. And we are here for your knitting and foolish entertainment. Yes. And thanks for joining us. And if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Also, uh, so I heard something today, or I read it on Facebook. So it has to be true. So it must be true. It's true. Yeah. It was on Facebook. So um, someone I know put on there, Cheryl, her name's Cheryl too, from Michigan. She wrote, when you're dating stuff, that you should this year put, you know, if it's January 1st, 1-1-2020, one, one, because on like legal documents and stuff someone could add 172017 I thought that was a good tip oh I don't know all right you know what I mean though like I guess it has, I don't know it, 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 I thought it's it was true because it, it was yeah. on Facebook yes. but yes definitely I guess I didn't I, yeah it <laughs> makes sense though yeah because if it's makes uh, sense. right somebody could oh I, what would they doctor up for me I don't know I'm not really sure mm -hmm. I don't know what I, I, that anything, nobody really wants to steal my life. Maybe if they put like 2016, your motorcycle will be paid for already. Uh, yeah, that would be very nice if yeah. that motorcycle was paid because <laughs> I haven't made a payment yet. Nice but, hat you got there, so lady. So we're going on vacation. Not me. Me and Don. Never me. Don and I, maybe I should be proper with it. Don and I are going on our 10th anniversary cruise and we leave in three more sleeps so I was packing today and I have my beach hat so I thought I would wear my beach hat it's a Harley hat it's true probably if Ruby saw you she'd say yeehaw I'm a Yee farmer ha I'm not a farmer <laughs> why is it can't bugging me but today? I have this to show people for where we can be found on the interwebs now hold it there for a minute Mary says hold it a little longer I'm not. I'm a little bit shaky, not because I was boozing it up last night. No drinking for this girl. Maybe you need another cookie. Oh, I was Why supposed to be on a diet. I got here and sat down, and we we're kind of going over show notes, and I just kept looking over there at those. She has like a stack, two things of cookies over there, and I'm like, I just have to. I can't stop thinking about the cookie. I can't even focus on the yarn conversation because I need a cookie. Should we should we save our giveaway thing for the end? Yeah, or? Let's save the okay. giveaway for the end. All right. Well, we talked a little bit last time about um, hats for veterans. Mm -hmm. You want to take that away? Your so our hog chapter in Perrysburg, Ohio, is with signature, and the uh, let me see. The director's wife asked if we could put a call out for people to get us hats, handmade hats for veterans they're mostly male veterans there are several females that i've seen on the list but mostly male veterans and we don't have a lot of parameters most, like most hats are kind of unisex yeah. anyway i think um so. it can be wool or acrylic. i mean i probably recommend more of a super wash just because if it gets like washed or you know like we can't expect them to hand wash things a lot of them are elderly and you know they their things get laundered there and or their caregivers aren't going to be hand washing things so like a super wash would probably be good you even know even acrylic. even a nice acrylic would be fine too yeah and we came up with a little plan that if you could get them we're going to do drawings as hats are coming in we'll put people's name in a we'll probably fill out little tickets or something and put them in and then right. do a drawing for a prize to be determined the first drawing will be after april 1st so hats by april 1st will go in the first drawing we're going to get some we're going to acquire something purchase something from 
the Bowling Green, what is that called? The Black, Black Swamp, Swamp Fiber, Fiber Fest. Festival or Guild or I'm not sure of all the things. It's yeah. March 28th, I think. Yep, March Saturday, 28th. March 28th. So we're going to make a purchase from there and that's going to be the gift. We'll find something. Real Maybe we'll think it's cool and you won't, but we're going to find a gift for that. But it's just a little incentive to like get them out get to the hat sooner than later we'd like to have a lot of them to turn mm -hmm. in and you can contact us um if you're in the area you could drop them off at crafty needle um, in, elmore, ohio. in elmore ohio in care of the two pearls in a pod um if you go to yarn envy like maybe we could set up a time to meet up there usually on saturdays we could we can go up there and knit for a while and yeah. you know we could set some saturdays up for that mm-hmm um, and or at solder if you're going to solder retreat and you right. want to bring a hat, um, bring it. You know we can start it then also. Did you have yeah. anything else for that one? Um, um, I don't think. Well, so. so the prizes will be on April first, July first, and then October first is the final because we need to get them together. And I think we're going to do some type of other things like mm -hmm. personal care items and things like that to put bags together for the veterans over at the Ohio Veterans Home. Also, Crafty Needle donated some yarn. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you if you want to contact me, um, either through uh, the notes here or on our Two Pearls in a Pod on Facebook, Facebook. we could get some yarn to you if, if um, you need yarn to make the hats. And that was all donated by Crafty Needle. So thank you, Crafty Needle. And if you have any questions, um, you can even comment below um, mm -hmm. this YouTube video and one of us, probably Becky, will get back with you on it um, because I'm going to be yeah. in the Caribbean Sailing in the next couple away. weeks. So, well, it's only a seven day, but we, we will be flying down on Saturday. So a few things coming up, the Sodders Retreat. February 7th, 8th, and 9th, and I believe there is still room there. I think they take mm -hmm. as many as they can. So that'll be fun. Lots of fun there. Mm -hmm. and, and they have different dates for that. You could do Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So there's there's different packages. Or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, like Sunday. Some of us like do. Some people do. <laughs> we do. We got the pre-retreat going. And then mm. March 28th, Black Swamp and BG will be there. And yes. we're hoping to get together and knit with some people. Yeah. At the tables. Day, when so. you... When you walk into Black Swamp, to the right, there's some tables mm -hmm. back in there, and we were hoping to set up shop and and if you're there, like stop and say hey. That you know, mm -hmm. if you watch us, like give us a heads up, come knit with us, show us what you're knitting. So she'll be the one with the tan. <laughs> no, I'll still be no by March 28th. Well, hey, yeah, yeah. If we fly back up here on. That's true. On January 12th, any sun that happens, it will be long since gone. And then also on Saturday, March 21st at the Crafty Needle, there's going to be a trunk show, Adelaide Fibers. So that'll be all day mm -hmm. from 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock at Crafty Needle. We'll be knitting so, there all day too, hopefully. Yep. We, maybe we could podcast yep. from there for a little yeah, bit too. We, we say that every live. time. Let's do a live there. Yeah, that day. would be fun. We yeah, always we'll talk about podcasting and then it never happens. And then we just get too excited. We get to jack in our too jaws. Much going on. But that's Adelaide Fibers. I think she has an Etsy yeah, shop. Yeah, I see that she has an Etsy shop. Yeah. But and she's going to make up some tweed for me too. Yes. Yeah. So some kits for the swan show. Also, you and your damn knit alongs. I know. Last Saturday we had our little party at at Crafty Needle, and we had a lot of people come. Mm -hmm. Jen from the Knitters are here. She came. We got to meet her in person. I felt yeah, like I already was knew fun. her mm -hmm. from just from podcasting. When I come back from my vacation, I'm hoping to go to their store yeah. over in Lodi. That would be fun. And knit with those guys. Because um, it's only, it's less than two hours away from my house. Mm -hmm. So that would be a fun day out. Some of our friends from Yarn MV came out mm -hmm. Saturday. And then, of course, our mm -hmm. ladies from Crafty, Crafty Needle, Needle were there. So that was a lot of fun. We had a good, so, yeah, we had a nice turnout for that. Yep. Um, 
had some food going on right. there. Next thing I have on my list is what are you wearing? But obviously, I got my cowboy, got hat, cowboy on. hat. I'm wearing my um, little necklace, stitch marker necklace from Heidi and Lana. I should get my out. So I I I have a conflict on. Like, I want to go back through and write down everything I've worn in the podcast because I don't have very many clothes. Well, I, I was, need to knit some things to wear. I got this for Christmas from Don, so I knew that this had not made an appearance yet. And yeah, I was going to wear the shirt that I you got me, this, but... but it was cooler out, or because of it being right. cold, I was like... You couldn't wear that on vacation uh-huh. or something. Yeah, that'll yeah. probably be a vacation shirt. Yeah. Um. So, not wearing so, the knitwear. Got my yeah. Hemma Beach hat on. Mm-hmm. Although, we're going to do some... We'll have more sweaters made you know someday. What the, you know what the hardest part about vacation is? Coming home? No. I usually love to come home. I'm usually paying, done. Paying for it. No, it's already it's paid for. It's done. Okay, uh, and nope. this this ended up, this was a good deal because they in July they were having a hard time getting the ship filled. So it was more I know. than 50% it off. It is because I'm not going. No. That's the Well, that thing. is bad. But you don't have your passport. I so don't have my passport. You're not going. Mm-hmm. You don't get to go to places where passports are needed. No. Nope. Um, is packing yarn? It is. It's stressful. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you? What do you so, take? So I usually go. I usually start out just a few things, and then I go manic, and I then I have a ton of junk that I don't really need to take with me. Well, I have so. it. My clothing because of us in our vacate our getaways on the bikes. Oh crap! I didn't turn this on again. And, oh, it is on. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Woohoo. We're brand new podcasters. We haven't been doing this, but well, almost a year. You know, there's not a battery in there. It's not, doesn't, isn't really on until you plug it in. I should just leave well, it on. And if it didn't record, would that pick it up? Yes. So. Yeah, it was fine last time when we okay. turned it on late. So. so it's fine. We promise after our pod anniversary, we're going to be like professionals. Yeah. Um, yeah, but and my solders. my packing my clothing packing ha, has went like I'm a minimalist like I I am not taking very much I bought two packages of that Tide that you can buy like mm-hmm. at Walmart by the travel size things I have two packages of that I plan on doing laundry twice and because we're you don't wear clothes. underwear so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> But, I mean, you could take a couple underwear doesn't pack that much. You know, it's not bad. No, but for our, for fun. our, there's two dress up nights on the cruise, which is not my favorite. Like uh-huh. some people, some people go and they look like they got their glamour shots done. And I still kind of right. look like this. Because well, you're aging yourself talking about glamour shots. <laughs> I remember I didn't have a glamour shot because I, I took was broke. Mer- I took Meredith <laughs> to have them done. That was fun. I was, was broke when glamour ago. shots were a thing. But yeah. some, so the formal nights or the dressier nights, I'm taking one dress and I'm all, I'm wearing that for both. And if anybody makes a comment, I'm gonna be like, stick it. I don't I don't actually particularly care. But I'm being a minimalist with my packing, and I'm Walk not gonna go back and Harley regroup. Stuff. What is with this cat? I don't I'm know. She's you up. she is very needy today. She was she over is. there on my coat. So I just Let's I need see. advice about packing my yarn I just it's so hard to decide just take it all with you (laughs) then I'll be over the weight I've been overweight in my luggage before and I had a complete meltdown and said a big f-bomb in the guy did they let you come through with all your he did then and he didn't charge us for it he was like it's okay I'll just let it go okay lady Mm -hmm. stop crying lady no I was swearing it was it was bad so one of the things one of my gifts for Christmas was the the Coco Knits markers, markers, yeah, stitch markers, and I love these. I'm like ready to get rid of all my other stitch markers because what? everything I could ever want is in here. And, and I bought this, so they you can this is Coco Knits, right? And then all these markers stick to that, right? Or you know, yes. magnetize to it. Wait, yeah. So, can't have that. That's mine. And but then even like your little mistake fixer could well, stick on there. The other thing that I put on there is my cable needle, and it yeah, came. That's this a good idea. this came with some stitch markers and a cable needle, and 
I don't know, it was a few a few things because I put all of these in this. So cocoa nuts, we'd be happy to be a sponsor for right. you. Mm -hmm. Love them. But oh yeah. Except okay. Not so much that. Yeah. Yeah. Put your. You got your cable needle in there. Yeah. This is. This was like all of my cocoa nut stuff that came with it. Oh, that is. Those came these with came it. came with it. Oh wow, nice. And then I think this one of these came with it. I don't remember which one. One of one of these nice. came with it. I don't remember which one. But you can. Oh, that's got too much on it. Like I had a pair of scissors on it too. Cool. Like your scissors will sit right on it. So I had been kind of seeing these things on on the line, and I was like, man, I really want to get one of those. And I couldn't never find them. We had them at Crafty Needle. Who knew? Who knew? Mm -hmm. What other colors were there? There was a like a lime green one or this color mm, right now. I might have to have the lime green one. So I. Yeah, your cat is freaking out. I know, bit. she's being weird. I'm going to make her have her jump up here and podcast with us. Yep, she might like that. So, so I'm going to talk about this thing and just completely make me feel bad now. Sure. Let's just get it over with. Well, I thought we'd do it with uh, works and oh, whips. Right. With our whips. So, um, you had some things gifted to you. I did. That you wanted to show. So... My hubby listened, which is surprising sometimes. It is not. He's but so sweet. he, I got a, a set of needles because I'm just a poor girl without very many sets of needles. <laughs> I got. Sometimes we should bring all our. No, let's no, not. nope. Well, somebody's <laughs> gonna break into my house and steal all yeah, my shit. Then true. I don't want them to steal true. my yeah. needles. Yeah. So I got the smart sticks. This started out as a Jimmy Beans thing, I believe, and then. Knitter's Pride took it over. So there are little markings on there. I don't know. Can you see that? I can't. I can't tell. There's like one inch markings on there. And so this, yeah, it's like one, two, three, and then four. And then when you put the cables on, the cables have one inch markings on them. And I had to have them. And I love them. I'm sure you did. I did. But I needed Yay. the whole set. Look so, at how nice they are. Did you bring anything else that was gifted to you? I did. Um, one of my team members at work, she does this diamond dot thing. And I, I actually brought it because some people are talking about uh, something about making doing something that you never did before. You, do you know what try, I'm talking about? Yeah, like trying, yeah. trying a new try craft out or new. try something new. So, and there, there's a lot of podcasters doing giveaways based on that. And they're, they said, well, you just try it. You don't have to finish it. But one of my team members does this diamond dots thing. It's and so I mentioned she, she showed it to me this, like in November sometime. Look at and it, it. It's pretty big. That's um, a lot of little dots. They're like faceted they're like little, jewels. Yeah, or like little beads jewels. Or... The the back part of it is sticky, and then they have to pick these out, and there's a little tool that they put each little thing it's on. It's kind of like a paint by number, I think. Or but a, it's... a paint by num number meets cross stitch type of yes. thing. Yes. It so, really has a needlepoint look to it, I think. It is. It's so pretty, but I was like, oh, I really love that. That's really cute. Well, then she went and framed it and gave it to me. And this was not what she gave me for Christmas. This was in my office probably in early December. Oh, and then nice. she just left it in there. And then she, I had a, another gift from her, too. Very generous. Like, very, very generous. Um, it's, and it's beautiful. It turned out really nice. I got nice. a couple kits for a couple of my grandkids and they were really excited about it but I wouldn't mind trying it sometime just for fun or helping them with it yeah do it before I'll just you get help that the done. kids with uh -huh. it you need to get another hobby because I'm so not going to start another I hobby I had a couple things gifted that you didn't get to see but I also have a gift to give that you didn't see yet I have something for so, you so oh <laughs> <laughs> Oh my so goodness! This I, I is had so it done, cute. but I didn't have the hat done, and then I had made that ornament hat. But like, you can switch out hats. Then. Oh my gosh, that is so Isn't adorable! <laughs> oh my so goodness! So mine isn't done yet, but I thought maybe I'd take him to solders with me to hold my spot. What's beans? There's little like they're plastic beads All in right. there, kind of thing. That is so cute. Thank you. Isn't that funny. 
that and is so cute. adorable. So I have something. So for he you. needs a like. There is a longer hat pattern, but that's what he's got for now. Is which I think that'd be fun just to so, switch up his hats. I now this, and then. I didn't get this done by Christmas, but this is something for you. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh, don't look closely because there's Yay. a mistake in it. So, this is. Where's the tassel? No. <laughs> well, hold standby because I brought you something to make that your own damn so tassel. Cute. So that's your hat, Dana. I'm excited. For because it matches, it matches motorcycle. the motorcycle. And so when I seen it, I'm like, I thought in my head I would have it done by Christmas. So I didn't do it without messing up my hair too much. So here is up my hair, your up my hair. tassel stuff. I love it. Well, this will be fun on the bike, won't it? Well, then Yay. when you take your helmet off, you could put it on your head too. Yep. So here I love is. It. I love how um, how much it is kind of tight around the neck. The yarn I used Ooh. was mint. Mint rain hand. I love it. We bought yarn from this place when we were in in Ann Arbor in October before we went to Rhinebeck we went to a fiber fest up there super wash but here's the leftovers okay I'm gonna make tassels rock on with your tassel sister <laughs> thank you I love it it was all I, I really could do, do to get it done so um well I had that this is pretty this much is done for a while but I didn't have the hat done yet and then it, then I so thought well cute. shoot I made that other little hat and I bet it'll fit and then you can switch out hats <laughs> on them so, so cute. Look at him. And then he could this be, was he could just be a little ball guy too. <laughs> and this was my another gift from Cheryl for me. A bag it's from a, by the Bay Yarn Company. It's a company in Texas from Etsy. So, and, and it's got some pockets. And you know, it's like a little deeper than some mm -hmm. of them, which is really nice. I love the the fabric on them. Yeah. That and was a C. reasonable price bag. It was on yep. Etsy. Um, and it's not lined, but it, all this, the seams are finished inside, which is really nice. So she had a little snafu, and I ordered two because I had to get one for myself. Yeah. And only one came, and it arrived on December 24th. I sent her a message, and I had it by, I think I got it on Monday. So, like, she turned, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, very apologetic. Like, and it wasn't a big deal because it was just for me. And Lord knows I have plenty of bags. But check her out because she has a lot of, a lot of really cute stuff. And the quality was, I thought yeah, the quality, the quality was is very, very nice. nice. I love this. I love how it. I love so, how it kind of hugs around your neck. And it too. matches your motorcycle. Yes, so it does. That was yours. Jim, Jim is working on the stereo today, so he has got to ride the bike I wish, today. <laughs> I wish I would have bought. I would have made a hat for Jim if I would have bought more of that, but I didn't. Well, maybe you can watch for the yarn and see it online or go back. Yeah. I'm never opposed to going back to a to, fiber festival. Yeah, make a hat. So, um, let's see. Finished objects. Well, oh, this... wait, wait, wait. I got to talk about oh, one, okay. other, one other gift. I was going to say, this is like my only finished, so... So my other thing that I was gifted, and some people I've talked about it before, and if you follow me on Facebook or on, or if you're friends with me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram, um, this is the pattern from the Advent calendar that Becky made up for me. Um, her pattern is amazing. It's so well written. It What's is it such called? So, uh, land of sweets. Yeah, cow. land of sweets. And was that because I eat so much candy all the time? Maybe. I need to dial something back on that. So I started this, and this, I don't know if I'm going to take this with me on vacation because it's so many little, sorry, I'm doing I like this right so next much. To there. I want one in every color. So this is the start of it. Look at how amazing that is. I have the that yarn. Yes. I'm going to give it back to so you the so next you can one, add to it. The next one is a lace, the for section or is it it's not lace quite yet okay it, it didn't start to be lace quite yet um this one's knit all stitches and then yeah it it doesn't start being the lace one for maybe five colors in okay it's so cute though so these were my this was my advent calendar my day 23 is right there that i had talked about quite a bit 
So this is on the needles. <laughs> this cat is like crazy today. Maybe I think it's because she wants to. Yeah. She there. Yeah, she probably does. It's very it's rude. Right. She'll she be said. all right. She'll be fine. All right. So is that what are we? I, I forget. Well, finish. Finished objects, but really, oh, I have, all I had was my gnome, and so I do cute. have this also that's finished. Yeah, that's this cute little basket. Too. It's called Entangled, Entangled that's really cute. Basket, I think. That yarn is so, really nice, too. Yeah, and this is Kiss. Is this Kiss? So it's not a Break the Bank yarn? No, no. No, but it, it did take four skeins, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. But but it was fun, it's and cute. I'm going to do a classic Crafty Needle on this one. So Okay. Is that, yeah, that's all that I have that's finished. Well, I finished... You know, I don't know that I love like assembling that kind of stuff, by the way, either. <laughs> like toys and I'll let you know if I ever get fine. to it. Um this was from Brooklyn Tweed. This it's a hat that I finished. The cloud line hat. It's two fingering weight yards held together. So and cute. we got it when I bought it when I went to Kit when we were it at Castle. It's gonna be so warm. We you bought it. What color I did. did I did got. You buy? I got gray and black. All right. Gray and black. I um, think. it was easy. It was a fun, easy knit. I knit it on Christmas when people were driving me crazy. So this is what I worked on. Um, was this hat? So if you see me working on this hat on Christmas, you were probably driving me crazy. <laughs> um, I don't think my kids watch this, but um, it was fun to do. Kids, that goes without saying. So. Brooklyn me Tweed. Crazy. Peary, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I think so. And I loved it. I just finished it this morning, which was why I was late today. Then I finished oh, yeah. this. Yeah, it's really and I looked it up. It is on Ravelry also. This is from Fall and Winter of 2015. We went, it was the first time we went down to Knitting Temptations. I bought which is in Columbus and yeah, in we Dublin. both ended up buying that magazine and both made this. I did not put this fringy fringe on it because the person this is for, uh, I don't think she would like it. My cousins, so it's it's my mom's cousin, so it's like my second or third cousin. I don't know how you figure that. His wife Jean, like, loves my knitted things and is always you know making comments on it, and I think she is knit worthy. So I made this, but what yarn was this? Micha okay by Malabrigo yeah. and it's like it's kind of a it has a really nice a pretty color stitch definition it is called a sh the shredded cowl it has the drop stitches in it shredded cowl by Jenny Williams I'm gonna cover it like that shredded cowl by Jenny Williams I looked it up it is you can buy this on Ravelry so yeah, I made it with Micha. That I, this was out of my stash, so I don't. A lot even of know times I, I buy magazines this. and I don't make anything, and I actually did make. I wonder what else is in that magazine. I have to look through it yeah, again. I don't, it's I don't been remember. a while. Like sometimes I look back through my magazines, and now that I've have increased my skills, I could make more right. than what I could initially. I don't know that that cowl was the. Oh, that sweater was cute. And it's there's a bunch there's a lot in yeah here that's cute. yeah but this was the Micha in anniversario was what I made this out of and I'm I'm making her fingerless mitts so I'm hoping to finish those on when I'm on vacation so I can get this stuff well out. the fingerless mitts are in a what color gray gray, gray. Uh -huh, to go with that yeah so that was Beautiful. I think that's all my finished projects here yeah, because I have yeah. that. That, that was I it. guess that was more than I expected us to have because it hasn't been that long. So then, uh, works in progress. Whips. Whip it. Let's just get it over Show with. Show us some whip. Let's just get it over oh, with. Okay. So this is the zigzag that we committed to doing. Solder last year. Yes, which we both already had it started before that. <laughs> But everybody I was going to. It's just shit balls. Like, I did other so, stuff. So I had, like, it kind of went to that island that she talks about for me because I got bored with it. So so I had from here to here done last Saturday. And then 
I decided if I did an inch a day. Here's my scarf. This is what I'm going to wear on the so needles. I added this much more to it since Saturday. How so about I'm this? pretty happy about that. I like it. It's this like a bib shawl. Oh, it's going to be my new look. Oh, look at the colors on there. It's I like pretty, the colors. The sparkles look there. good. So, anyway, I'm planning on having mine done by solder. So, uh, maybe next we'll solder see. or solder 2022. Well, my plan is I'm going to wear this on our anniversary. Our podcast. Our, our pod anniversary. Yes, that's my plan. There might be mm. needles hanging from it, but I'm not gonna wear mine. I'm not gonna joke You're myself. You're gonna have it done. You'll so be this fine. is all I have. I just I grow, I grow tired of the pattern. I like my yarn. I know, but it is kind of like mindless. It's a free pattern zigzag, and then you just use two balls of fingering. And I did two balls that I really wasn't. I didn't cycle. like anymore. So one's like Jim. pastel with Stellino or whatever you call that. And then a, Shh, a brighter. It's the Roaring Twenties are here. I don't know if you guys can hear the motorcycle or not. You'll be able to hear the stereo. Hear the stereo. <laughs> yep, motorcycle's here. So it's the Roaring Twenties, yeah. so we had to listen for the motorcycle. Be able to see it. Yeah, you can kind of scoot this way while you'll be able to see it. Oh. Is he, is that, oh no, that's my planner. <laughs> that shouldn't be up anymore. I was no. swinging in the breeze. Apparently, dead plan. we've been drinking. What was in those cookies Wee. I was eating? Oh, there it is. I can see it now. Oh, there he is. There's our trike. It matches that? Yeah. So, my yarn choice is three Irish girls and malabrigo sock. Where she reminds me of candy or something. Candy land or so something. So when I, I did, I stash dived for this because Lord knows I had enough sock type of yarn to choose from. And mine's been in this this is DS on here bag. That's cute. Forever. When did you buy that? <laughs> when I was with Denise. That <gasps> that old uh, thing? That old thing? I have it is kind of old but I love the the bag and it has a little pom pom on it and that's cute ruby's always like what's that like she should likes make it. some of those Good. so this i am taking this is going on my vacation with me and i don't know how I, much love yeah. it's gonna it's get it's nice i think it is like a fun little knit if so, you're not too bored with i don't know it. if people use these things or not i know jen bought it at crafty needle last week to protect needles and so my needles don't snag things like you have a bunch of them too right don't you? or you're knitting coming off your needles i love those mine is in my fringe bag so did you in my fringe did you do a i know that's a silly question but did you do a new year's cast on i did but you know what i didn't bring it you didn't no i did you only um, have to instagram a picture of it i still i did the soldatna well, and I have this the collar done. I had a little bit of this, like two tiny rows of bright edge, so I'm cute. counting it as my New Year's cast on. I and need to tell him to turn that down. I know. Podcasting. <laughs> the AJ podcasting yarn that I I think I had. Maybe I showed this a while ago yeah. saying I was going to do it. That's really but cute. That's all the further I am. So, so that's one. And then I still am working on my granddaughter's sweater, which I need to set down that zigzag and get this done because I'm so close. Yeah, that's really cute. one sleeve is almost Maybe done. Maybe I should wear that to solder yeah. to showcase it for you. She's going to wear it, Morgan. That's really cute. So I just need to like I, I want to make buckle myself down and get that one done. I love Malabrigo so. yarn anyhow, so that is so pretty. I know, I know. That's and really, I love really pretty. The, I can't remember what the colors were called. I have one in here, I think. Oh, Maybe good yarn. Oh, yeah. There he goes again. Jeez. Got my Lake Girl Turpus. What does it say? It's Crystal oh, Lake. Lake. I'm girl. drinking Crystal Lake. Lake Girl, okay. I wish I could drink that, but I can't. I get a headache from the sweetener. I have been drinking too much Diet Dr. Pepper and my stomach is killing me. So you're going to make some new hats for him? <laughs> Maybe In your spare time. Uh -huh, my like spare if you time. get little scraps, wouldn't it be? I'll give you the pattern for his long hat. 
Yeah, that's cute. Mine is not put together yet. Oh, um, I have one too. Wait, I'm not, I have some. Still have some. Mine's books. green, lime green. So how about this for cast on? How about like he is being obnoxious? There it goes. He's putting it away. Finally. So, <laughs> having a grandbaby. It's a what? boy, as we know. The baby is a boy. His name is going to be Rhett Thomas. So I finally got on the, got busy and cast on a blanket. That'll be a joy to do because this yarn is so nice to yeah, work this with. Is, this is my big plan for, um, my big plan for vacation is, this is, this was a free pattern by Tin Can Knits called Malt. Yeah, this yarn's going to be pretty. Look at, so... It has a little bit of detail in it. I love the sand on the baby's feet in the picture. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> so this is a free pattern, Tin Can Knits. So the hat the baby's wearing is that hat that we were talking about that would be a nice hat for the... Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's in the Simple flax. Collection. No, Flax is a sweater. Yeah, not Flax. And I made a scarf like this for my mother-in-law a long time ago. When I first started knitting, I made it out of a purple tweed. I never see her wear it. If I don't see people, if I don't I, see Tony, I never see. You if I that gift you something, either. and and I never see you wear it, you're not gonna get anything else. So Becky got this because she sent me a picture of her in the sheep hat. I will be wearing it. She wore the yeah, sheep I hat yesterday. Sheep. Yeah. So she sent me the picture. So I'm like, all right, now you get your gift. It even matches my um, Harley sweatshirt really well. The sheep. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. the sheep hat. Yeah. I need to. I might have to. I might wear hat. that to. Um, uh, to solder. Black swamp. And pass it off as your own hat. Yeah. That you made it. Except I'll be there with hey, you. Hey, I'm so. knit worthy. You're knit worthy. Oh, I. I'm I gonna think start knitting who better to knit for than a knitter, really? Right. You know, like. So I was thinking the only gift knits, I think I might have said this already, but the only gift knits I did was, I mean, my mother-in-law hat, and I hope she wears it, and smell that. the um, what I'm doing, doing for my granddaughter. Is that eucalyptus? Oh, I bought it at Rhinebeck. Goat milk and honey. Mm. Is that what goat's milk smells like? <laughs> Maybe we should get some I goats. <laughs> it smells really good. I was good. trying to get Greg to get those sheep, but I guess they're not available in the U.S., I thought somebody said it was a hoax. That was Rachel, because she doesn't want any sheep. <laughs> Rachel needs to get some alpaca, like a herd of alpaca. Yeah. We'll come and visit them. I'll help you yeah. share them even, Rachel. Those sheep I've seen before, they are so cute. This is the fingerless mitts for the cousin who's getting the, the how cousin's many, wife. How many gift nits did you give away this year? Oh. One. So... Each of my cousin, my girl cousins got fingerless mitts. My aunts got shredded cowl. My older sister got that gray hat right. that broke my heart to give that hat away. I, I better see her wearing that or I'm going to cry. Um, Did she say if she saw it on the podcast? She doesn't watch our podcast. Okay. She likes it on Facebook because that's convenient. My granddaughter watches. watches us. Some of her friends might watch it, but Beth does not watch this podcast. I know she comments on the Two Girls in a Pod mm -hmm. on Facebook. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm sitting down and watching. Like, we're at 38 minutes already. Like, I don't know. I, that's all I do is watch podcasts. Somebody's like, mm -hmm. what, what do you watch on TV? Like, I don't even watch TV. I don't. I just don't. Right. And now I got a, my new iPad yesterday at Costco after the TV debacle. Did so, you see the Baby Yoda sweater? No. That I was telling you about. So um, I can't show you because my phone's recording us. So yeah, the debacle that ended up being a nice surprise. Your TV debacle. Uh huh. So we we have a large TV in in a small room because my husband is a TV snob, and it started messing up after 23 months. And we bought it at Costco, so we went through the concierge thing with Costco, and it was like four hours on the phone since Sunday. It was quite a debacle. Finally got the email late on Monday, and he came and woke me up because I was sleeping already, and said, "Hey, 
we can take it back. So we we went yesterday when we got off of work. Well, the TV was about a thousand dollars cheaper than what it was two years ago. So then I got to get an iPad Pro. It's, 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 I need to buy a case for it. You should get the that um, knitting app. That it's really nice. I do kind of wish mine was the smaller iPad, so it was a little lighter. But yeah, I did. I bought the and eleven inch one. I have to say my my Apple computer that I got because I thought I needed it for podcasting, and I don't. Um, I've never been able to get it to work, and I'm tempted to trade it. I didn't it know in. you had an Apple computer. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it works right, but Ursula, I've already had it in there once. Ursula, which she's somebody who goes to a knitting group and uh, a very long time friend of mine. She has a an Apple computer and I had to help her with it and I was I mean I use Apple products but that computer was not that yeah. Mac was not easy for me to no. help her with no and like I have we I have iPhone and iPad and all that right. stuff and I, I have a hard time with the computer myself, my one so. my cousin's little girl used to call the iPad her pie pad it was <laughs> a pie pad well Ruby if you say something about YouTube she calls it iTube so. <laughs> <laughs> me too um, yeah do I have anything else going on? What is in there? Fingerless mitts. I have uh, a hot mess going on here. You do. You can't see too much of it, I hope. But Yeah, I didn't have a whole lot to show because Wait, I need to I'm just trying to put concentrate this out there on that a few I'm using things. using my Sandy by the Lakeside bag for my advent calendar. Because Very pretty. the Sandy by the Lakeside bags are really cute. Look at that little... So I was looking already because I missed out on the the 24 color socks. I want to do the 24 color, you know, the self-striping 24 colors for the What do you mean you missed Advent out already? Socks. Well, last year. Oh, I, I didn't. I'm like, for I next year? I waited too long. No, but I looked, I was looking today and they start pre-orders as soon as June. Oh, so let, me, stay yeah, on let me know when that happens because I want to, yeah. I want to do that yeah, and I want to do a new on that. I'm such a good sock maker. We're, we're just, we're prolific sock makers. Yeah. A someday. year ago we said we were going to make six pairs and Zippo. zip. Oh, he's sneaking in. No, oh, you don't in. get to sneak in now because we we were recording and we heard you your music <laughs> and revving that up. But it's the Roaring Twenties, so it was okay. I was gonna open the window and say, "Hey, we're podcasting. <laughs> Pipe <laughs> down." Like his leather. Oh, nice chaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm just not gonna say it because we're recording and this is gonna go out to the the webs. Like I'm not. I can't say it. Do they keep your legs warm? Yep. Look yeah. at Becky's. Look at Mantis the bike. She gifted it to me today. Nice. Isn't that cute? I need Great. to find some more of the yarn and I'll make you a hat. Okay, like today, you need just a scarf if you don't have a full face helmet. But it wasn't cold. It's 41 well, this you can take off ride. and wear it for a hat then. So I can wear it around my neck on the bike and then... Is your bike dirty? Yes. Because we had, we had our bike, our orange bike out on Thursday and it took him three hours to clean it up after that. It was yeah. a mess. Yeah. It's dusty from all yeah. the From putting a subwoofer in. Yeah. How is it? Oh, it rocks. <laughs> Everything Yay. Else. I ordered bags for my motorcycle last night. Bags. So are they like leather bags or are they hard? You know. They're not Harley bags. Harley Harley bags don't lock. Are they black? Uh-huh. Harley bags don't lock. And... Um, do you like your sun hat? Mm -hmm. I do. I Three do. more sleeps and I'm going to be southbound. Yeah, she gets a beach vacation. Well, cruise. They're going on a cruise. Someday. I went I ordered them from Viking Bags. But I don't know if I think it would be fun to trailer the bikes down and ride them there. So It'd so be expensive. Uh I'm sure we're boring you now. We probably could sign off. We're yeah, I 40, can't find my bags. I'll show you. Forty-four minutes in. Wait, are we done? I don't. I don't have anything else on my list. Oh, wait, it's five hours. Oops, can't stop. Yeah, because it um, hasn't been that well, long. Well, we need to talk today. about this. So don't forget, come to 
Oh, that's right. Oh, we almost forgot. Ooh, I hope you we stay have tuned. a winner. So maybe I'll fast forward it through our little. Um, so we have thing a winner. There. This mm. is the gift that Brenda generously, gen or isly generously, generously, generously donated for when we podcasted over at Cast On in Vermilion, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And check out Brenda still. Like her shop is amazing. And the. Um, what to qualify you had to subscribe mm -hmm. like tag a friend mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. cast on yarn studio i need to go to cast on because i need some i want to do that shepherdess sock shepherdess sock. which she's cast on is doing oh. a knit along with that shepherdess sock which was by Tracy, Tracy, oh, 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 yeah. of the grocery girls. Yes. And it, I don't know if it takes one skein or two skeins of the Peary yarn, which is that pink and black hat that I made. So right. I don't, I don't have any of that yarn. Oh and no! Now, How did that so happen? I know I'm, I'm going to be off of work on Friday. We fly to Florida on Saturday, and now I'm like in a panic, thinking I don't have enough yarn for my vacation, and now I'm going to have to go to Cast On to get the yarn for my vacation. How twisted is that? I have a whole yarn a room full of yarn. That's crazy. So the winner is Lisa Pine Notes. Lisa Pine Notes. So um, she's from Elyria, Ohio. Okay. Um, she says you made my day. She Brenda just sent me the message. You made my day. Yeah, Brenda contacted um, her. Lisa, so that's good. Lisa sent, Happy New Year to you and yours, my fiber friends and lovely lady. So we'll be getting so this. I'll be getting this out in the mail probably to tomorrow. Congratulations, Lisa. Thank you for watching. Also, yeah. um, enjoy this. This yarn is can make the hat. And if we don't see you before, this is the hat that it will make, we will see you at the retreat. Lisa? Right? No, no. Who are you just, in oh, just in general. Everyone, Everyone in general. Lisa, are you going to the retreat? Lisa, yeah, you, you should come sweet. to the retreat. You should come to the retreat, yeah. Lisa, because you're right here in Ohio, and Archibald right. is not very far from you. Right. So sure still bring your friends and come to the retreat. Knit with us. You can knit your hat then. Right. There so. you go. Very All right. fun. Well, congratulations. Jim, we're podcasting. Hey. Your music. Hey, hey, we can't have that um, copyrighted stuff. We're gonna, you're going to get us, you're get gonna us, get us shut in off. trouble. <laughs> you're going to get us banned. All righty. Well, on that note, we probably should say goodbye. And Anything Happy New else? Year. Happy New Year. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All righty. Bye-bye.